Foggy. Dirt Tracks. Racing. And a beautiful sunny day. It's the time of the year when the extremely popular Baha'i Say India is back with us. What's special this year is that Baha'i is celebrating their 10th anniversary and Living Cars is all here to show you all the action. Mahindra Baha SE India is back after another glorious and successful year. Over the years, Baha has grown in popularity and has become a significant event in the automotive industry. This year was no different as the event was high on excitement, emotion, passion and enthusiasm not just among the students but also among the organizers as they celebrate their 10th anniversary. It's, it's been an incredible journey. Uh, when we started in 2007, uh, we had no clue where we will end up. We had no clue whether we will survive 10 years because an event like this is not easy to continue year after year. We didn't know what uh, students will have interest in. We didn't know sponsors having interest in. We didn't know volunteers having uh, interest in this. And it is just amazing that the kind of support that we have gotten from everyone uh, who has contributed to this event is incredible. And that's where we are here on the 10th anniversary. As we heard it from the man himself, let's take a look at this journey from the very beginning. Baha SE India started its very first ride in the year 2007. While that year, the event did not see quite many college participating, it was the first step that laid the foundation for the Baha SAE India. Over the years, Baha has only grown by leaps and bounds, both in terms of number and also among the automotive industry. I remember in the first Baha, I used to go begging for money and now I don't need to go, I'm just told that we are full, now no more sponsors can come in. Uh, so there's a lot of interest because sponsors clearly see the value in associating with this event, not so much in terms of IRR, uh, but in terms of what contribution they are making to bringing engineering into college campuses. And many, many, many uh, industries, many companies get excited by that contribution that they're making. So I think all in all, uh, if there was one event that I can feel proud of, that is, it has reached the level of uh, uh, sort of continuum, the the, the pull uh, from everyone. It is this event and I feel very good about it. Top engineering minds from various colleges come over here to this ginormous NATEX facility at Pithapur, Madhya Pradesh and put themselves to the real test. The bumpy ride requires the students to design and fabricate the single-seater off-road buggy. The Baha SAE tasks the students to design, fabricate and validate a single-seater four-wheeled off-road buggy. The vehicle is tested on various parameters, including engineering design, cost and technology innovation. This surely is one platform which serves young engineering students and prepare them for the real-world challenges. Well, the main objective from the very beginning, uh, and that continues, has been how do you bring excitement about engineering in engineering colleges. Uh, and uh, when we started that time, students were more into going for IT jobs, uh, very few wanted to come into manufacturing jobs. And what we wanted to do as I say India was to excite people about manufacturing, uh, about auto industry. And I think that we have been able to make maybe a small contribution in that over the years. The kind of learning that they get from this event is uh, more than uh, classroom learning and that they get from their coursework. Of course, both have to happen. We started first with the innovation in terms of uh, service leadership that is a pure for sure program and then we came up with high performance fuels like speed and high speed in the case of uh, uh, diesel vehicles. This uh, 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 program we found that it showcases the young engineering talent available in the country, their in innovative uh, capabilities, their spirit and we thought that this is the right platform which we need to be associated with so that we can actually be fueling the dreams of young Indians. The event began with a flag off with over 118 teams participating in the final endurance race comprising both M Baha and E Baha. The buggies went through various challenges to make it to the finish line, driving through rough terrain, the obstacle courses and muddy waters. Baha SAE India rolled out a concept of electric Baha or e-Baha to leverage the onset of electric mobility in India. We 
Baha is basically the uh, uh, designing, building and also raising the electric vehicles. So uh, it's, it's good to have electric vehicles also now coming of age. And uh, building skills in our people in India on this electric uh, uh, vehicle designing and building, I think it's a great platform. While the conventional Baha is about petrol-driven ATVs, e-Baha vehicles run on electric motors powered by rechargeable batteries. Uh, with the world moving towards you know, greener uh, 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 fuels and greener environment, we thought it fit that we also should partner this e-Baha and we are now uh, the energy partner for that uh, particular event as well. This year saw eight teams compete for the title of Best E-Baha Team in the Fun Endurance Race. Singhat College of Engineering, Pune made the title to their name. And College of Engineering, Pune won the first title in the conventional Baha. This year the stakeholders pushed the participation to a whole new level. 215 entries came out of which only 145 were able to make it to the final. The breeding ground for the future auto engineers showed a lot of promises.